Hello again, and welcome back to KSBCF's Virtual Getaway Week. My name is Nicole Rolf, and I am the Administrative Director for the Kentucky School for the Blind Charitable Foundation. And tonight, we are bringing you COVID Tales, a virtual cocktail class hosted by our volunteer bartender, Keith. Now, before we get into tonight's program, we want to take a moment and tell you about another KSBCF grant program and how it helps build new partnerships and expands the foundation's support in making a difference in the lives of people in Kentucky who are blind and visually impaired. Thank you and enjoy. So the Community Collaboration Grant is something new and exciting that KSBCF is doing. We started the Community Collaboration Grant in October of 2019. And it is a way for us to partner with other organizations and companies uh, throughout the state of Kentucky. So for example, we in January approved multiple community collaboration grants and also individual grants. In fact, the Kentucky School for the Blind Charitable Foundation Board made history by awarding the most grant money ever. And that was over $300,000. And that was grant money for these community collaboration partners and then also a few individual grants. That did not include the yearly grant that we provide to Kentucky School for the Blind, which is typically about $250,000. Some of the community collaboration projects that we did approve in January included building a new playground in conjunction with Make-A-Wish for the Kentucky School for the Blind. It also included partnering with Cosair Charities to help uh, VIPS, Visually Impaired Preschool Services, expand into other buildings and to extend their property so they can also serve more uh, children. We also gave a community partnership grant to Jennifer Gendeman of Look No Further Lou. And she is an occupational therapist who works with people who, with low vision challenges. And that's all ages, and she has recently started a company and will be doing that. And then we also partnered with Louisville Visual Arts, and they are interested in creating a beautiful tactile mural in the Clifton neighborhood. So we will also be partnering with them once that project begins. Uh, my name is Keith. I am the resident KSBCF bartender for the day. Uh, I'm here to work out through some cocktails. Uh, I know that COVID-19 quarantine and impending doom that everyone's initially facing is uh, kind of building up. So I'm here to educate you all on some tasty cocktails that you can make at home and hopefully uh, blow off some steam. The first thing I'm going to make through you, for you is the COVID-19. Uh, it is a bourbon cocktail. Uh, we're going to start with uh, one and a half ounces of Mictors US 1 and a shaker with ice. Um, not only does Mictors make great bourbon, but they are also uh, they have a gift basket available through, uh, for the auction. Uh, so again, one and a half ounces of Mictors US 1. And here I have one and a half ounces of peach puree and one ounce of unsweetened iced tea. So pour it on, get it on there, got some porters. And give it a really good shake. Honestly, probably more than you think you're going to need. Like shaking so you think it's appropriate, and then just a little bit more. So. That is good. And then strain over ice into a rocks glass. And that is the Kentucky COVID 9 tea. So the next drink I'm going to make for you guys is called the Pan Daiquiri. Uh, it's actually a, just essentially a, a daiquiri, a classic cocktail that is oftentimes mis, uh, misconstrued to be some frozen hodgepodge of things. It's actually three super simple ingredients. Uh, you take an ounce and a half of white rum, uh, one ounce of lime juice, and half an ounce of simple syrup. Pour over ice into a shaker. Shake the hell out of it. And pour into 
into a chilled glass. Uh, so the next drink we're going to make for you guys is the Uncle Andy's. Y'all can't be doing that. So we're going to start with an ounce and a half of gin. I really love Castle and Key. They are from Kentucky and they make some uh, delicious gin. So again, ounce and a half into a shaker of ice. And then we're going to add into that half ounce of simple syrup, half ounce of fresh lemon juice, and just a dash, maybe a bar spoon of uh, St. Germain's and olive liqueur. So we'll pour that straight into the shaker. Again. Shake like you mean it. And then we're going to pour into, we have a white wine glass, works perfectly well. If you got a champagne flute, just as good. And then you'll top with two to three ounces Let's be honest, probably more <laughs> of bubbly. And garnish with the twist. And that is Uncle Andy's. Y'all can't be doing that. Uh, the next drink I'm going to make for you is a vodka base. Uh, you could use gin if you want to. It's going to be a lot of fruit juice. Uh, we're using Finlandia, but like I said, any vodka of your preference, or especially gin. Uh, so we start with one and a half ounces of vodka in a shaker with ice, and then we'll add two ounces of lemonade, one ounce of cranberry juice, and a half ounce of pineapple juice. Again, push your lid on, and shake well. Strain of rice into the rice glass. And we are calling this one the Parents' Day Off. Drink. I will be making a sangria. Um, we are calling it the after school special because Lord knows everyone can use a drink when the kids are done being homeschooled. Uh, we are starting out with a bottle of rosé. I prefer anything from Provence, but any dry rosé will do. Uh, in there overnight, I let, uh, let Steve uh, slice peach and some sliced strawberries. Uh, you can pour it straight in if you want with the fruit. I don't care. Live your best life. Or you can pour it in without. I'm going to go without. So again, about 18 ounces of rosé or the entire bottle, because let's be honest, we need it. And into that, I will add one and a half ounces of cherry liqueur, three ounces of lemon juice, and nine ounces of rum. You can add Pisco if you want. It's a, it's a brandy that's made in South America, but as we've established, I like rum. Uh, so I'm going to add in nine ounces of rum. And sure. And that is our after school special sangria. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed tonight's COVID tales. And once again, stay tuned all week for more fun and insightful videos during our KSBCF virtual getaway week. Thank you and take care.